Philip, Randy, I'm really excited to talk with you about AT&T and Dell Technologies partnership. I guess to set the stage a little bit, we had a really interesting keynote this morning. Uh, some of the takeaways for me were that data is already at the edge, and if you want to do AI, you've got to have data. So uh, before we get into that discussion, maybe you can just give us an idea of your roles with your respective organizations. Philip, we'll start with you. Yeah, happy to start. So Philip Coleman, I'm with AT&T. Uh, I am the one of our mobility product leaders uh, on, on the AT&T business side. Um, uh, I own all of our coverage solutions in the portfolio. Uh, I'm the person, I'm the answer to the question of, you know, how do I get uh, public or private you know, connectivity for my business? How do I differentiate that service uh, to make sure that it's more consistent, that it's prioritized in the network? How do I secure that connectivity uh, if I need you know, customized uh, routing uh, protocols or uh, other types of use cases? So, happy to be here. Excellent, Randy? So, Randy Tornas, uh, global uh, client executive from Dell towards AT&T, so sell to, through, and with is the way we like to describe it, and it's the entire Dell portfolio. So everything from laptops, connected laptops, all the way through servers, storage, cyber recovery, Gen AI, the whole works across the organization. Excellent, so Philip, you mentioned private connectivity. Um, this has been a priority for AT&T for some time. I feel like as enterprises get more strategic about their investments as catalyzed by AI, we're seeing a lot more interest in private uh, on-premises cellular. So what are you seeing? Yeah, so absolutely. So as I answer that question, I'll step back and talk a little bit about AT&T's overall approach first. So one thing that we talk about a lot is convergence. And so our customers, in order to uh, be successful, need both wireline and wireless. So 5G and fiber is how we talk about it. Um, mobility has historically sort of uh, started outside of the, the, the site. And so the, um, you know, the focus of my portfolio now is at the site itself. And this is where you really see the intersection of our uh, 5G connectivity and the customer edge. And so one of the starting points for customers is going to be private networks, because private networks really addresses that need for you know, high quality connectivity, reliability, uh, but then also the, the data sovereignty, data control for the customer uh, into their LAN uh, to support those new applications. So, but right. I mean, we've, we've seen, I mean, we've had private network deployments in all of our key verticals. Uh, it's a relatively, uh, it's, it's a big focus for AT&T, and we've got multiple variants of those private cellular platforms. And it really comes down to what level of control does the customer desire? Do they want a managed service where AT&T manages that private network and they have the control of their data? Or do they want to go even you know, to, a, to a further extreme and have a fully isolated private network with a core on-prem uh, that they can manage just as they do uh, you know, like a, a Wi-Fi network as an extension of their LAN. So exciting place for AT&T. It sounds like it. And Randy, what's the Dell side of that? I mean, obviously Dell's got a long history playing at the enterprise edge on the IT side, as your partners like AT&T bring private connectivity into the mix, what, what happens? What's the complementarity there? So, so the, the beauty is we do complement each other. I think that's the key thing. We don't overlap, we don't compete, but when we do things, and I use a, a 5G connected laptop as a great example. It's a simple exa example of Dell makes a laptop, we put 5G in it. It needs to be connected, AT&T connects it. Take that into the private space, a lot more complicated than a laptop, but the same scenario. We sell yeah. servers and storage to those enterprises. We talk to those enterprises about their use case all the time. We bring partners in. In the end, it needs to be connected. More and more of that is IoT connectivity. As Gen AI unfolds, we're pretty excited about the fact that those use cases will mature much, much quicker driving more and more need for AT&T connectivity and more and more need for Dell equipment on the edge as well. Excellent, then Philip, you know, when we talk about private networking, when we talk about edge computing, when we talk about Gen AI, a lot of those are usually focused on Fortune 2000 type companies, the biggest of the big. Help us understand how you can take the same set of capabilities and offer them to small, medium-sized businesses and really enable digital transformation in that segment. Yeah, so I mean, first and foremost, one of the uh, biggest opportunities for us with business is to solve the coverage uh, gap, you know, on-prem. And so I do want to uh, revisit the fact that we have both public and private coverage solutions so that we can meet the needs of the customers where they are. Um, we also have small and large uh, solutions. So if you think small sites that are less than, you know, say 15,000 square feet, all the way up to large sites that are over a million square feet. 
And small businesses actually play in both of those zones because many small businesses have you know, large industrial uh, sites for distribution or, or storage, but then many of them are also you know, the, the flower shop. Uh, or the, uh, you know, the, the car rental business. And so that's where we, we have simple, uh, what we call small site solutions, uh, uh, a femtocell type solution. They're plug and play, they're self-install, um, and they just use any customer internet connection. So that's one example where we have a more simple, seamless, uh, you can be up and running in, in just a matter of days with a covered solution, uh, but then on the high end for larger sites, we have more sophisticated type solutions that have a little bit more rigor. So absolutely focused on small business. And then Randy, let's go back to your comment about connected PCs. Uh, a lot of really interesting announcements during the keynote this morning of uh, new uh, AI PCs that are also uh, 5G capable. Um, tell us a little bit about how you're going to get these devices into enterprise users' hands uh, through work with your partners like AT&T. Yeah. So right now we have we have an initiative as we speak with uh, a marketplace mechanism. So basically, Dell sells the laptop. It's the first step. AT&T gets the connection. We hand the connection to them, and then they connect it. So think sell with the sell with motion. There's a lot of evolution to that where we would do more things together and, and embed some of the, the connectivity on our end or resell of the laptop on the AT&T side. So there's a future once the numbers start going. When you now look at the Gen AI enabled laptops and some of the use cases, that's where we get really excited about what's going to be happening on the true edge and how mobile does that edge need to be. I think AT&T's seen it, we've seen it. We think that's going to be everywhere and more and more users, when we do our, our training for the connected laptop, the number of millennials interested in working for companies where they can work from anywhere, significant. So that the, the laptop and all that connectivity has to be there for them to be able to do that. Okay, so the demand's very clear from your enterprise customers. It sounds like you've got a very well thought out, well articulated plan to uh, really enable their digital transformation. So maybe leave us with uh, some thoughts on, on what's next for this partnership. What do you see coming uh, down the line, Philip? I, I, think, um, I think, look, there's a, I sometimes say that between a Dell and an AT&T, it's kind of an embarrassment of riches. We have a lot of assets, uh, and really it's just a matter of us having the focus to come together uh, to address the small business uh, uh, gaps, to address the things happening in enterprise that are driven by Gen AI. So we've already had some announcements today. Uh, you're gonna, you can expect to have more announcements in the future of how you know, AT&T's uh, connectivity is powering uh, a solution with Dell. Uh, and I will say one, one thing that I'm really excited about is a partnership that we have with a company called Digital Barriers. And so think about the amount of video use cases that businesses have where they're actually generating video from a camera uh, or some uh, you know, uh, vision sort of system in their, their, in their, in their business. Uh, if they want to pivot to cellular, one of the challenges is, is how do I move all that data uh, efficiently? So uh, the thing we have uh, with our Digital Berries partnership is what if you could compress that data down and have 90% savings in that transport cost. So a lot of things that we're doing from a value add perspective on the connectivity that I think are really going to be exciting for our joint customers. What are you looking forward to, Randy? I, I, think, I think exploring where, where all this technology will enable enterprises to do good things and have good ROIs. The fact that we complement each other so well with what, with what AT&T does and with what Dell does, it's all there. We're calling on the same customers. Maybe not always the same people at those customers, but the same customers. And they're looking for easier ways to do things. I think simplifying the consumption of all this technology it's not an easy task for a lot of the enterprise, especially when you get down to small, medium business. The big ones, they can handle it. The small, medium business needs a little more work. I think we can do that together and help them. Excellent. Well, gentlemen, it's a really compelling story, and I appreciate you taking the time to share it with me today. Absolutely. Yeah, thank, thank you, Sean. You.